welcome to my channel. Today I am doing Christmas in July, even though it's July 30th, but I really wanted to participate in this um, video thing that's happening on YouTube, so I decided to do it. Better late than never. I will be making a stocking stuffer uh, hanger type of thing, and for this I am using two uh, I think they're fence boards that I had attached together uh, and then I have cut out these um, you can cut these out with your Cricut machine uh, and they're just I'm just using them as stencils and then I'm gonna be using the Annie Sloan Emmer Emperor's Silk paint uh, linen white by Rustoleum, and I haven't 100% decided whether I'm gonna use the cocoa bean or not. Um, haven't quite figured out the technique that I'm gonna use for putting these guys on. Uh, and also, I went out and I had purchased a wooden door pulls, and I got four of those. And then you're going to need a paintbrush some sort of a cup and some sort of a tray for your paint. The paintbrush that I'm using came from Dollarama and it was actually quite a good deal. Five of them, no, two, how many were in here? One, two, three, four, yeah, five of them for two dollars. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So without further ado, I'm going to get started. First thing that I'm going to be doing is I am going to be painting my dowels and I'm using this cup and paint to do that. I hope this works. We shall see. It's going to be messy, I know that. Oh, that will work so I just attached a pen to it and then I'm going to oh, I hope this works maybe not maybe I'm not going to but I would like to cover it up I think this paint's going to need a little bit of water to thin it out that's the nice thing about chalk paint if it's gets to be too thick because I haven't used that paint in a long time you can just add paint uh, water to it and it will uh, water it down a bit so I'm going to let these dry And I'm putting down the end that um, I'm screwing on, so the, the narrower end, so that way if the paint doesn't uh, stick to that end, it's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna let those dry. And make sure you don't lose the screws from them so you can screw it on after and now I am going to paint my board really torn as to how to do this all right I'm going to try and go do it this way so first I'm going to paint Actually, I'm not going to use the cocoa bean. I'm just going to leave it as is and attach my mousse.
apply your paint um, the white paint because I want it to be kind of rustic looking I am going to do more of a dry brush um, technique which means you want to not have too much paint on your brush so then the a lot of the other stuff shows, shows through and when I'm gonna go around here I'm just gonna kind of dab it I'm going to lift these up and hope for the best Oh, that turned out really good. That one did. And that one did too. Love it. Okay. I really like the way that looks. And then once the paint dries, which is not going to take very long, I will be, I'm just going to do a write-up over here. And I think... I might use my permanent markers for that just because um, sometimes I don't um, do very well with the writing so thinly. Okay, so that's done, and then once my knobs dry I will be screwing them in here it is all done did manage to find the two other screws and they're on pretty secure so I could hang it if I wanted to or I could just use it as a decoration I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up and until next time I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait for the actual Christmas season to start <music>